over the years, I would say the biggest changes would actually come from a lot of the delegates who come from the corporate sector. Why? Because I think that when they come to One Young World, they understand that the role of business in the world can be to do a lot of good and that they can change the businesses they work for from inside. And then we see some of the big corporations, you know, they're like a big oil tanker. You see them changing. For us, we have wanted to come to Latin America from, from the beginning. Why? Because Latin America, as Africa, has a very, very high percentage of young people, people under the age of 30. These are the young continents. But I think in Latin America, firstly, you have this amazing story of Colombia, which is really an amazing story to see a country pull itself out of 52 years of war. You don't see that around the world. This is a very, very important example to the rest of the world. Colombia, with its very particular special story, set in a continent where change is underway and where it's needed to, to take young people into the processes now. I think you see it from Venezuela to Brazil. You see this need for young people to be able to make change. We have started to learn more about that young group than we knew at the beginning. But one of the things, the changes that is affecting One Young World is because our delegates are so young, what we see now is not only Generation X, we see Generation Z start to come through now. And they again, if you take Generation X so-called and compare it to my generation, the difference is enormous everywhere in the world. Why? Most informed, most educated, most connected generation in human history. But the difference between Generation X and Generation Z is as big again, and that's only in a 10-year period. Why? Because Generation Z all over the world are the real digital natives. So they again are different. And that change in that acceleration, particularly of the social media revolution, has had an effect on us for One Young World. It's supported a lot of the delegates' work and a lot of our reach, outreach. We couldn't run a community of eight and a half thousand young leaders around the world without the social media revolution. We couldn't do it. I'm not sure that marketing of itself is part of the change for good. For me, for One Young World, what I believed is having that background, I could take the idea of a summit like One Young World and say, okay, there are a lot of youth summits around the world. Why is this one the most important? It's for young leaders. How can I make the world's media see these young people as the stars they are, only by good marketing, because I have to persuade the mainstream media that these people are amazing. The future for them is not tomorrow. The future is in their hands today. Everything they do now, as they start their working lives, as they start their companies, everything they do now is about how they are going to live in 10 years' time and 20 years' time. Every single thing counts. So if the course of history is too good, it starts now and can only come from young people. No one else is going to fix things.